Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Real Quick Episode 72. We are getting up there in the numbers, and today we are doing a draft of the best action movie stars of all time. Kind of got some foreshadowing to this on Monday's Real Talk episode when we were talking about the most stacked movie casts of all time. We talked about like Expendables that has just so many action movie stars in it. But now we're going to go around the call, do a draft of the best action movie stars in general of all time. So like we just talked about right before we clicked record, we're not talking about the characters in the movie we're talking about actors in general so you know someone like tom cruise you're not picking ethan hunt you're picking just tom cruise um i don't think that's a big spoiler i'm sure tom cruise is getting picked at some point in this draft so this was recommended by our patron zach graves check out our patreon in the description down below um for all different kinds of tiers you can recommend us movies to review uh, drafts to do um as well as hangouts our discord uh, movie watch alongs discounts on merch all kinds of other great stuff and speaking of merch you see uh, Seth wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat. Um, go check out our merch at realtalkpodcast.com. Um, a lot of, lot of great stuff on there. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into our draft today. So our order that we're going to be going in is Seth, Cam, Tyler, George. And we will be going for the best action movie stars of all time. So with that, with that being said, let's start off with Seth with the 1-1. With the yeah, I think it's quite topical right now as well. And I think it's like... One of the first round picks. I'm gonna go with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yep. Very, yeah. very valid. I mean, he, no one. Re- I mean, literally, no one does it like Tom Cruise. Like the the amount of stunts he's done in his life that puts his life in jeopardy. I don't think anyone can really rival it. Honestly. Yeah. Agreed. And, and I don't think he's slowing down anytime soon either. <laughs> um, no. Cameron, with your second pick. My bad, my my mic was off. Sorry, I was talking. Um, maybe not as like iconic as some, but I still think he's very iconic as well as topical at this moment. Um, so I'm gonna go with uh, Mr. John Wick himself, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. You know, he's not. He's not like maybe it's not pure action. Well, actually, John, yeah, yeah. John, I, John Wick is. is. I wouldn't say the John Matrix Wick is pure action. The Matrix but, is yeah. not pure action, but it is still like an action sci-fi. Yeah, it's still. I think. I think he's deserving of being on this. Whole List. Yeah, he was what, most second pick. What's that movie like? Yeah. Cra- crash or something or Drive? What's the one where he's like on the bus and trying to stop it? <laughs> that's like an action Non-stop. movie. I guess. No, that's Liam Neeson. Never mind. I don't know. I thought yeah, it was like a yeah. It's like him and like a Sandra Bullock. I thought, but uh, me with the third pick. Um, man, there's a couple here I'd like to pick. Hopefully, uh, George doesn't take both of them on on the back to backs. But I'm gonna go with the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's just a uh, yeah. I mean, he's still doing it, right? Like he's he's going to be an expend fourables, right? Like he's he's still yep. going. Um, and the Terminator, uh, uh, RoboCop. What else? What other iconic Schwarzenegger stuff? He's just been in so many. Pumping Iron, his most iconic action role of all time. Mm-hmm. Did you uh, say Predator? You said Predator. Predator. Yeah, Predator. Okay. Um, yeah, George, back okay. to backs. Yeah, I God damn, I wanted Arnold. I was hoping you wouldn't take Arnold, but fuck. Um, all right. I don't know if it's a first round pick, but I mean, this man's an icon. I'm going to go with Jackie Chan with my first yeah, pick. Definitely. Great pick. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that video on TikTok like a week ago of him like crying, watching like his old stunt work. That shit had me in tears. I did not see that. And then I'm between three right now. But again, maybe I'm just going to go for relevance since he's in a movie right now. I'll go Harrison Ford. Yep. Good pull. Yep. Good pull. Again, like like Keanu Reeves, I, I don't think all of his movies are like pure action, but he's always in like action roles, and he has yeah, been this whole exactly. Time. Yeah. I didn't really think uh, I didn't really think he'd be taken. Honestly, I thought I'd maybe get him towards the end. No, he was on our list. I mean, he has Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Blade Runner. Like action isn't necessarily their like most prominent genre, but like you know, Indiana Jones is like action. Yeah, adventure. action adventure. But you know, he's an action guy. Yeah. Yeah, um, happy this guy got back to me. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, I feel like it's a good pairing. Yeah. Him and Arnold are kind of like the the seventies yeah. through the two thousands were kind of just like carrying yeah. the action industry in terms of just like the big blockbuster stars. Um, yeah. I'm honestly, I'm honestly glad you took Sly Stallone, so I didn't have to snub him for another round because he's definitely deserving of being top two or whatever. But uh, I'm going with Jason Statham. I love Jason Statham and every in everything he's in. Like, I think he's. I think he's one of the better action actors. Like Keanu Reeves, I don't think is a good actor outside of being an action star. Just my humble opinion, other than Toy Story 4. 
Uh, <laughs> but I think I think Jason Statham like genuinely is a very good actor as well. Oh my dude! Has Jason Statham been in anything that's not categorized as an action? I guess Snatch is more like a no comedy, way. But... <laughs> There's no way. But but then again, Snatch um, was kind of before he became the action star yeah. though. So since like yeah. since he got juiced up on the roids, like has he really been? Anything other than an action star? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because comparatively, in Snatch, he's like he's small comparatively to like what he is now in Snatch. Yeah. But like since he got jacked, like yeah. has he yeah. been in anything? Like well, he's not been in anything. He did like, Romeo in no. Juliet, the animated film. Did he really? <laughs> did he really? That's crazy. Uh, no, I yeah, I don't know any of these. All of these are action. Yeah. Seth, you got but back to. I bags. think he's good. Uh, I'll go. Oh. I'll go for the female duo. I'll say Uma Thurman and Sigourney Weaver. Damn it, man. Oh, Uma damn Thurman. it. Why would you pick Uma Thurman and not let me have her? Because I like me. Bill. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's a good back really right pick. there. Okay. It's a um, really good pick. Would you have Running. taken Jason Statham if Cam didn't take him? No. Oh, well, damn. Cam, you had your chance to get Uma Thurman. Uh, no. Yeah, Cam, all right. Cam, now it's back to you. Yeah, again. Feel like I gotta go with him. Uh, uh, go with Bruce Willis. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, Die Hard. Uh, in a whole lot of other things that I can't think of right now. Uh, also in a lot of other great movies as well. Yeah, he he just had a movie. I, come I gotta out go this, look at. He had a movie come out this year that got like it's like a one out of ten on IMDb DB or something like horrible, like some trash oh, no. movie. Oh, I really want to watch no. it just because it's his last movie ever. So yeah, I there was a like there he was in a whole lot of real shit movies towards the end of his career, but also it came out that he was just making these movies so that he could um like pay for his family because he has dementia or what does he have? Yeah, he has I believe it's dementia. Something. Is it is it something. dementia? Yeah. So he's I think it's worse than dementia, honestly. I, I think yeah, it's like something hard. really it like is. really life threatening or something. I don't know. But he was doing all these movies because he's like, I'm done acting and i'm just gonna make a shitload of money so good on you bruce willis they're real bad but good on you yeah he so he has frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia which is a type of frontotemporal okay whatever but it basically it's like a more severe more rare version of dementia um okay okay so shit so it's back to me um oh god let's see what i want to go for here there's a lot of people that like need to be drafted that I just don't really love as actors, but like they kind of need to be drafted at some point. Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe I'll just keep going with the classics just cause I don't really want to pick any of these modern guys yet. I'll go Chuck Norris. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, like I just uh, I have so many people on my list from like two thousands movies. I just I just don't really want to draft, but if nah, they come that, back to me, I might have to. But George, you got back to back. Yeah, that was, that's a funny fucking pick. I didn't know if anyone was gonna actually take Chuck Norris. <laughs> He's probably not the best, but I just <laughs> that is so fucking funny. <laughs> um, my uh, what are we third pick? This is I don't I'm not calling this a niche pick, but I'm hoping uh, my uh, my John Carpenter fans will come out and vote for me, and I'm gonna go with uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah, I mean, so, come on, you got the Thing, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, uh, Skate New York, yeah. banging movies, um, and then let me get some female energy on my list. I'm gonna take uh, Miss Michelle Yeoh. Mm. Old Bond girl, Crouching Tiger, Love Hidden that. Dragon. Now we got everything everywhere all at once. I like that pick. Love that pick. Mm. Love that. Great pick. pick. Appreciate that. Um, I think my last pick is going to be hysterical, assuming no one <laughs> takes it, which I don't think anyone will. Uh, take Iron Man. I uh, take hmm. that. Robert Downey. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. No. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll just go with the. Uh, I'll go with Vin Diesel. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, the Fast oh. franchise and pretty. Yeah. Has, like he's kind of similar to uh, Jason Statham in terms. Of, like, has he been in a movie that's not like an action movie? I feel like uh, Oh in. no, I was gonna say the Pacifier, but that is an action movie. <laughs> right. Like I feel like he's just like born and bred yeah. to be an action star. It's just something about like once you once you go bald, you get jacked, and then you're just only an action star. It's kind of like the Hollywood <laughs> yeah. like transition. That's how it works. Um, Cam, back to There's you. There's also in the Chron- Have you guys ever seen the Chronicles of Riddick? 
I had way back when. But yeah, also I like that's again I'd classify as like yeah. an action and movie. Didn't, didn't he voice Iron Giant? Yeah, he did voice that. Oh, yeah, he he voiced all the right. Guardians movies too, so I guess those are actionish. So yeah, action-ish. he's just an action man. Uh, Cam. Um, yeah, just gonna keep filling out my team of random white boys. Uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon on this list. I was yeah, wondering. About, old so what? what I forget. Like, is it just the Bourne movies, or is there anything else he's been in this action? I feel like those are it, right? Like in terms of action. I feel like it's the Bourne. I'm sure there's something else you got to think. Gotta be right? something else, yeah. Um, but I mean, Ford v Ferrari is like a sport action. He yeah, doesn't, he doesn't he also really do doesn't any really, action. He doesn't or, really drive. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. It's Christian Bale that does all the driving. Um, yeah, no, it's just the Bourne movies. But, but still, that's like how many movies? Is that like five, six. So like, he's only in four. Oh well, still, Three? still, I think he deserves to be considered just from the born. Jeremy Jason Renner, born Jeremy Renner's in the other two, but is he in the reboot? No. I forget. I forget. Uh, Saving Private Ryan in the Oceans franchise. Oh yeah, that's oh, Saving, Saving Private Ryan. I haven't seen a single born yeah. movie, which is oh, he was in Elysium. Remember that yep, shitty yep, movie? I, yeah, that's that's. I definitely. Call it. It's like sci-fi, but definitely action-ish. Um, Neil Blomkamp. When he bought a zoo, that was pretty actiony. Yeah, <laughs> I always Stop. get him and Mark Wahlberg mixed up for that for some reason. For we bought a zoo. Um, that was Seth, that was it. Your last two picks back to back. Uh, okay, I'll go. Even though I don't like love the films, I think it'd be a shame not to pick Daniel Craig, James Bond. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering if someone was going to pick a James Bond movie. And then I'll go for the Western star himself. I'll go for Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yep. got to be drafted. Yeah, I do. Cameron. Yeah, back to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and go with uh, Linda Hamilton, uh, obviously from the Terminator series. I don't know is she in a whole lot of other action movies. Um, Why do I not recognize that name? Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor. I have not seen. Uh, I'm not even seen the second uh, Terminator. I should have brought that up on the oh. last draft we did. Actually, to be fair, I guess. I guess. Wait, you've never it. seen Judgment Day? No, I've, already, I've seen the first one. But oh, you're out of your not mind. For years. I need to watch Dude. it. Get your shit. It together. looks like she's in a lot of other, maybe like Defiance. Kind of looks like an action movie. I've never seen that. That's the one uh, with Daniel Craig. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it looks like she's in some other action movies that I've just never seen. Not a huge name, but big for the uh, Terminator series. Um, so it's it's worth throwing her out there. Yeah. It's peanut butter be hidden right now. <laughs> Gonna be honest, Cam. I thought this yeah. draft would be the type that would just like put it on a silver platter for you to just do your classic like fifth round like pick that would just make us all laugh out loud from you picking them as like an he action star. He hasn't done one of them in a while, though. To be fair, that was early days, real top. Yeah, class, wasn't it? he's more distinguished now, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm a respectable podcaster now, I guess. I'm not throwing out a porno something <laughs> i wasn't going that route i thought you're just gonna yeah that was, <laughs> come on <laughs> I, don't do that. I did do that uh um okay gun so i'm gonna pull a curveball because i actually didn't have this person on my board but i want to get a woman on my draft board and i just again i just don't want to pick some of the other people on my board but i'm gonna go charlie charlie theron um yeah furiosa uh obviously in the, the fast, fast movies fast. um and a lot of it's like c tier action movies as well like the old guard yeah. and i forgot she was in doctor yeah. strange the multiverse of madness i forgot about that um yeah. oh yeah she's clear yeah she's yeah. in the post credit scene she's oh the yeah scene. all the way at the end I I forgot about that. when he has it when he has his cgi eye yeah real bad <laughs> hancock solid movie i actually oh, haven't seen that forever but I haven't seen Hancock in forever. What a movie. Hancock was awesome to me as a kid. Not as, as a kid. kid. It was oh, definitely awesome to me as a kid. I just don't know what my thoughts are. Not as good now. Um, final pick film. of the draft, George, is I'm assuming the person you wanted wasn't taken that you said you were excited for your last pick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shia, Shia LaBeouf was not taken, so I'm taking That's Shia honestly LaBeouf. a good, great pick, I think. You got, I think you that's a good pick. Transformers yeah, movies, Kingdom I'll, of the Crystal I'll, Skull. Uh, that's a good movie, bro. Oh, what's that one movie that I freaking one I of mean, the few movies actor. I had on DVD as a kid that I absolutely loved? It's like the government Holes. spying on people. No, Shia LaBeouf. Oh, Disturbia. No, not that one. Oh God, I'll, I'll get it. I'll pull it. Just get, give me a second. I thought you would have picked uh, Donnie. Yeah, in theory. I, was gonna be I, I was bet- honestly, I was between Shia LaBeouf or Johnny Depp for the last pick. Oh, this sucks. Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye was one of the few movies Eagle I had on DVD Eye. as a kid, and I watched that movie so much. Eagle what Eye. What a hoop movie. I think it's him and Michelle Monaghan, I believe. Is yeah. The, yeah. What a movie. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, like obviously, nasty. like I feel like D- Dwayne the Rock Johnson deserved to be drafted. I just really didn't want to pick him. Like I feel like he, no. I could, like I mean, but no. he he's he's been in probably um, maybe more action movies than like anyone who has picked. Because I feel like he's been in like fifty. It doesn't mean he's a great action star though. Next yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. I'm glad. I'm kind of glad he wasn't drafted. Um, Bruce Lee was the only other person I had prep. Bruce Lee and Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson were the only ones that I had on my list. I didn't didn't get picked. Yeah, I'm glad anyone? Dwayne Johnson didn't get picked. But yeah, he probably should have been. That was a little <laughs> that was a little spiteful. I think he's the type to see our see our draft graphic and to, he's gonna get real pissed off about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, exactly. sorry, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I know you just became a hundred dollar <laughs> patron, but um, <laughs> hopefully we don't lose your business. <laughs> All right, Seth took Tom Cruise, Uma Thurman, Sigourney Weaver, Daniel Craig, and Clint Eastwood. Cam, with a second pick, took Keanu Reeves, Jason Statham, Bruce Willis, Matt Damon, and Linda Hamilton. Tyler took Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Norris, Vin Diesel, and Charlize Theron. And myself, I took Jackie Chan, Harrison Ford, Kurt Russell, Michelle Yeoh, and Mr. Shia LaBeouf. All right. Well, that'll shout do. Out it. Wesley, shout out Wesley. Shout out Wesley Snipes. I feel yeah, like we that's, that's a good shit. pull. Too. Yeah, Wesley Snipes snubbed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good pull on Wesley Snipes. Um, yeah, that'll do it for episode seventy-two of the Real Quick podcast. And this was brought to you by Zach Graves. Thank you again for the recommendation on this draft of the best action movie stars of all time. Again, let us know in the comments down below who we forgot, who we missed. And as always, head over to our Twitter to vote in the poll for the winner. And I believe we've also started posting them on our Instagram stories as well. So go check out our social medias to give your vote and give your say as who picked the best group of five action movie stars. And with that, we will see you tomorrow with our review of Paris, Texas. (laughs) 